In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AWS Session Manager and SSH to the EC2 instances, and also how you can port forward ports from the EC2 to localhost. And in some cases, you can replace the Bastion host, since you're not going to need to open any inbound ports and also create key pairs and associate with them with the EC2 instances. It's much easier to manage. You're going to be able to see all the commands that that user will execute on that EC2 instance. And let me quickly show you that. Let's go to the terminal and run AWS SSM start session. So we don't have any ports open or key pairs. So be able to SSH to that EC2 instance and maybe run some commands. Echo hello. And also we're going to be able to see all the commands in the CloudWatch. So that's going to be the new log stream. You can go to the log group. And here, for example, you can see that um, this user executed hello, and that's the output. And also, I want to show you that you're going to be able to use the port forward command, so like that. So you can port forward uh, certain ports from the remote EC2 instance to the local host. Let me run it. And let's go and navigate to the local host 8080. All right, we can port forward um, Nginx from that uh, remote EC2 instance to local host. All right, let's get started. First of all, we want to create the IAM role and instance profile. Let's go to AWS, search for IAM. And under the roles section, we can create our role. Let's select EC2 instance. Click Next Permission. And here we're going to attach one of the AWS Managed Policies, which is called SSM Full Access. Let me search for it. And this policy will allow us not only SSH, but also stream logs from that instance to be able to see what kind of commands were executed on that instance. All right, let's click Create. Let's skip this section and let's call it SSM Full Access. All right, when, uh, when we create the IAM role, it also will create the instance profile. All right, so the next step is to create the EC2 instance and attach this uh, role. Go let's go to EC2 instance, and we can uh, navigate here and click Launch Instance. And uh, one, of, one of the requirements is that your EC2 instance must have the SSM agent installed. And most of the AMIs already comes with that agent, but you may want to verify uh, if you're not going to be using the Ubuntu. So I'm going to select Ubuntu 2004, select. Then I'm going to select Micro, next. And also another requirement is that the caveat, I would say that that instance must be placed in the subnet with the internet access, either with the uh, public IP address and internet gateway is a default route or in the private subnet, but NAT gateway must be present there as well. And let's, we don't need the public IP address in our private subnet here. And also don't forget to attach your SSM full access uh, instant profile. Click next, we don't need storage, don't need tags, and let's create the new security group. Let's call it SSM. And as I said before, uh, session manager does not require any ports open. So let's close this. So right now we don't have any inbound ports open at all. Let's review launch, launch. And also we don't need public keys. So we, not, we don't need to associate with the key pair and because session manager doesn't work like that. Launch. All right, so we can click on that instance. And the first step you want to do, you want to verify that this uh, instance uh, registered with the session manager. So let's see 8D, 3D, right? So let's go to the session manager. And session manager is the part of the system manager, which has much more capabilities, such as run command, etc. So let's go and navigate to the session manager. And here you can see, and if you click on start session, uh, you should be able to see your EC2 instance here. And it usually takes a few minutes to register itself. So let's wait, and that's the first step that you need to verify. 
otherwise you will not be able to use session manager let's just wait a little bit all right so all right so we have the our instance register means that we're going to be able to uh, use uh, the session manager now let's uh, go ahead and create the CloudWatch uh, log group. It's uh, optional, but it's very useful to be able to see what's going on in that instance. So let's go to the CloudWatch and let's create the new log group called SSM session. Under log groups, you can create the log group and maybe for expiration, let's give it 14 days and let's click create. Now we need to update our session manager to use this log group. Let's go back to the session manager. Session manager. And then under preferences, uh, let's click on edit. Scroll down a little bit and you can see that CloudWatch login. Let's enable it and um, let's use stream. For simplicity, we're not gonna encrypt our logs. Let me uncheck allow only encrypted CloudWatch log groups and select the one that we just created. And let's go ahead and click save. All right, it's saved. Now, um, I assume that you already have the AWS CLI installed, but you still need to install the Session Manager plugin. And you can do it uh, by following the official uh, guidelines. Uh, from AWS. So I'm on Mac. So you can, if you're on Windows, you're going to follow this. It's very s simple instruction. So let me just install for Mac. So that's the one. Let's click me here. To start, let's go ahead and download the zip archive. Go back to the terminal and run the following command. And it's going to download this zip archive. All right. Now we need to unzip it. Let's say yes to all. All right. And let's install it. And let me enter my password. All right, so installation successful. Now we need to create the I am role. Well, we need to create the user, right? That going to be able to SSH. Let's go back to AWS. Let's go to IM. And first of all, we're going to create the policy. Create policy, select JSON. Let me paste it. Okay, so we have a few uh, statements here. The first statement will allow us to start a session and SSH on this, um, on all instances. In our AWS account, that's going to be our region. And this is the account that you can grab it from here, for example. Also, we're going to restrict access to only certain EC2 instances with the tags uh, service equal to proxy. The second statement will be to allow us to uh, use port forward. And we're going to allow on all instances for that user to use this uh, port forward session command. And the last one is to terminate. All right, let's click next, next, and let's give it a name. User start session policy, create policy. All right, we have our policy. Now let's go ahead and create the IAM group. Go to IAM groups, create that group, and let's attach our policy. Let's select the customer managed policies and that's going to be us. All right, let's create that group. And also let's create the user. Let's go to the user, add new user. We're going to call it developer, give it only programmatic access, and we're going to place it in SSM access uh, group. All right, next review, create user, and let's download the credentials. All right, so the next step is to SSH to EC2 instance. And to do that, first of all, we need to configure our CLI. So you can either use the environment variables or you can use the uh, configure command. So let me, first of all, I need those credentials and run AWS configure. This is gonna be my key 
and that's gonna be the secret key and that's my default region and format json all right and now we can ssh and to do that we need we we're gonna run the following command lbs sm start session target and then we need to provide the target uh, ec2 instance id let's go back to ec2 instance instances and that's the our id let me grab it and let's try it and it says that the start session operation uh, by our user developer is not authorized well it's not authorized because this instance doesn't have the tags let's go ahead and go to the tags manage tags and add a service and that's the proxy tag which is comes from our policy service proxy let's save it let's go back and let's try again all right now we can ssh and we can um, install for example nginx in that instance all right let's do that let's run sudo apt install nginx Let's run clear and let's verify that it's up and running. All right, so we have the Nginx. Now, well, we can go to the, first of all, I wanna show you that we have the session. Go to system manager, session manager, and you can see that we have the active session. And let me just exit. And you're gonna be able to see all the commands in the CloudWatch. Go to CloudWatch, go to Log Group, and that's the one that we created. And here you have the um, log stream. Let's open it up, and you can see that, the, for example, the last one, let's maybe this one. So you can see that we run this command uh, systemctl status nginx. All right, that's the one. And the last thing that I want to show you in this video is to how you can port forward. And it's very easy. And you just need to run the following command. That's gonna be the command. So, and we're gonna use the start session target. We're gonna replace this with our EC2 instance ID then the document name which is the start port forward session and that's going to be the first port within inside that is two instance and the second will be on our uh, local host so let's go ahead and replace that id let me grab it again from ec2 instances All right, let's run this command. And now we can uh, start the session and port forward. All right, let's uh, try to access it locally. Go to localhost 8080. And we have access to our Nginx. All right, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thanks, bye.